American hopes of uniting the world against Iran won't be an easy task for the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Crucially important countries are either pulling out or sending low-level delegations to the Warsaw Summit aimed at curbing Iran's growing influence in the Middle East. We'll have uh, 60 <coughs> countries, over 30 foreign ministers there uh, from every continent, save for Antarctica. Uh, this is a global coalition that is built to deliver on the, uh, the important mission of reducing the risk that has emanated from the Middle East for far too long. Iranian leaders who are not invited are denouncing the summit as a U.S. anti-Iran circus. The Trump administration reimposed sanctions last year after pulling out of the 2015 nuclear deal between Iran and world powers. The EU, though, decided to stay. Responding to international concern about the conference and its motives, Polish government ministers say it will cover Syria, ISIL, Yemen, terrorism, trade and security. The EU alone does not, in my opinion, carry sufficient political weight to try to really influence the situation in the Middle East. Only working together with the United States and broadly speaking to the community of democratic countries can we have a positive influence and achieve peace and stabilization of the situation in the Middle East. Seventy countries are invited. Many are worried about a U.S. backlash if they snub the summit. Analysts, though, doubt the gathering would ever be able to achieve its goals. If you don't have Russia, if you have the indication by Europe that they're not going to send high-level people, uh, that they may send lower-level people, I think that's a, a sign and a signal uh, of concern, but also the limitations of what can actually be achieved. So not only regarding uh, issues around Iran, but what can be achieved with some of the other goals that the U.S. has set for it. But the U.S. has staunch supporters in the Middle East such as Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Bahrain, which have repeatedly called for a tougher stance against what they say is Iran's destabilizing role in the region. The summit, which the US hopes will show how it can build a global coalition against Iran, could cause embarrassment for the Trump administration. Some countries are staying away, while others are distancing themselves from the U.S. approach against Iran's regional ambitions, which combines sanctions with threats of international isolation. Hashim Al-Barra, Al-Jazeera, Warsaw.